Well, this was a horrific story. It still is, but it's got a great ending. This is the former owner of an abused dog. His name was Champ. We have followed his story since he was found. A jury found Elizabeth James guilty of misdemeanor ill treatment of animals. That's a lesser charge than she was uh, charged with. She'll have to serve 90 days in jail. It's the maximum sentence in South Carolina for the crime she was charged with. But uh, look, look at, at Champ. Champ. Uh. You'll remember, he was on the brink of death, folks, starved, emaciated. I mean, he looked awful. Mm -hmm. And those pictures were from 2018. But I'll tell you, he is the true winner of this story. At the end of the day, he wins. Yeah. And again, we've been following this story. It's gotten national attention, and it's really raised a lot of concerns about laws across this state. Oh, absolutely. And only on Fox tonight, Brooklyn Cromer <laughs> talked to Champ's new owner about how he's doing, doing almost three years later and her thoughts on that guilty verdict tonight. Brooklyn. Well, we tracked down Champ's new owner all the way in Delaware, and she tells me Champ is thriving and just needed some love and some food. She says he's definitely getting both. Now, before we show you the story, I do want to warn you, we're about to show you pictures of Champ right after he was rescued, and it might be hard to see. This is Champ today, a healthy and happy four-year-old pup. He weighs 120 pounds, loves to eat, and loves to play. It's hard to imagine this was Champ three years ago. That picture of when he was rescued came up, and I just like cried for 24 hours straight. I just couldn't, I couldn't get it out of my head. I couldn't, I felt so sorry for him. I was so sad for him. He, I just didn't think he was going to make it. He just looked like a skeleton. We've followed Champ's journey since he was rescued from a home in Lawrence County back in 2018. He was starving and near death when he was found and taken to animal control. You'll remember a rescue group in New York stepped up and nursed him back to health. He was eventually fostered, then adopted by a family in Delaware. Nicey Roberts tells me how her pup is doing now. He's super healthy, he's, uh, beautiful coat. I mean, he just shines. He's just so pretty and he's so sweet. He's just a love bug. Champ's owner says he loves people despite being abused in the past. That suspect, Elizabeth James, was found guilty of ill treatment of animals, a misdemeanor charge. Roberts says she had hoped for a felony conviction, but in the end, Champ wins with a new family that loves him. All he needed was food and love. That's all he needed, and he was deprived of both. So, not anymore. He's, he's living, living large here. Now, we've read a lot of comments on social media and many people wanting to know why she didn't get a harsher sentence. So we went straight to the source and asked the solicitor. Now, he tells us they sought the highest charge under the law, which is felony ill treatment of animals. That carries up to five years in prison. But the jury found her guilty of the lesser misdemeanor charge. Back to you.